Let me hit the content warning yet again. You'll like my own video. Thank you for everybody. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Okay, so just see Smollett. Uh, this is... Oh my god. This is the Megyn Kelly show, which is apparently on Sirius XM. Guest for this segment already on screen is one Mr. Dave Rubin. Do not, do not adjust your your Twitch streams. You are not seeing the intellectual Dollar Tree here. Ooh, you got Rubin on you. Megan Kelly has Dave Rubin on to talk about Jesse Smollett. Do you, do you like? Hopefully, they'll show the they'll show the clip. He apparently broke down on the stand. I have I haven't watched the clip, but he he told the judge he wasn't suicidal. He has been, as I said when I was I was teasing this earlier in the show. He is indeed a high profile target that has been demonized in the media. Uh, his celebrity has worked against him. He is going into the Cook County Jail, which is notorious for high rates of deaths of inmates. He has a reason to be worried. I'm not so sure that the punishment actually fits the crime, but right-wingers are creaming their fucking pants over it. I think it's kind of fucking harsh. I think a lot of things are harsh in our justice system. This is Megyn Kelly bringing on Dave Rubin to talk about, you know, like race relations in the, in the aftermath of... Jesse Smollett being sentenced for his, uh, well, I, I don't even remember what a hate crime hoax. Uh, jail. And this is the right result. He deserves to go to jail. He lied about his fake uh, race crime, hate crime hoax. And he got caught. Boy, oh boy, did he get caught. He had a full trial and uh, he was found guilty. Okay, so. He's now, still maintaining he his innocence. It's weird. It's such a, there's so much weirdness going on Which includes on five case. months in jail. In addition, he has to pay restitution of more than 120000 and a $25,000 fine as well for making false reports. None of that money matters. He's got a lot of dough. And like, I just, I, I just want to say like, if you've ever spent one night in jail, Five months ain't nothing to sneeze at. Five months is, like, difficult. Fucking okay, jail is torture. U.S. prisons and jails are fucking torture. To him. But um, five months in prison, that means something to him. And, and the remaining months of probation does it as well. Not in prison, Here in jail, the Cook County say, Jail is where he's going to uh, be serving his time. In Chicago. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years, and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you, and I respect the jury, but I did not do this, and I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go... I... Fuck. Like, that's kind of what you did, dude, because, like, the evidence seems to suggest... That you did indeed intend to, I mean, I will like leave a shadow of a doubt out there, but it looks like you paid some guys to try to like fake a hate crime on you. And like all, all of the details of the trial that like I saw were really weird I don't know it in, in in all the ins and outs. I'm sure somebody's going to do a dog. There's going to be a Netflix documentary on it at some point in time. But like I like, you're still maintaining your innocence, and you're like, I would never do that because I would be spitting on 400 years of of my race and the LGBTQ community. Yes. That's what you're doing, motherfucker. That really seems like that's what you're doing, and that's that's why it's upsetting everybody. So I don't, I don't fucking, 
is he delusional? Is he like, cause like some people are, they can't help it. They, they, they are experienced delusions of grandeur and shit. There's still some funky shit going on with the Chicago Police Department. The FBI. Like, the the charges were dropped at one time. The FBI accused the Chicago Police Department of lying about him. But obviously they had enough evidence to, to take it to trial. So I just, like, none of this, none of this shit makes any sense to me. I'm sorry I went off on a little rant. Let's... Let's hear the chuckle fucks, Megan Kelly and Dave Rubin talk about. Go in there. I did not do it to myself, and you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. Stop laughing about black. I am not suicidal, and I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. I'm okay, Epstein. I mean, who do, who does he think? It's like, are you at the center of some worldwide conspiracy where you have tapes on all these powerful people? And there's like, what is it? What? Uh, it's all about him and his weird narcissism to the very last moment of freedom. In full disclosure, I'm not fully aware of the catalog of all of his acting work, but I am. Like, I mean, I don't want to put it on. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be like he's got a twenty percent chance. That he will indeed get fucking shivved in jail. But, like, there is a chance. I, and I think more than an outside chance. Like, I wouldn't put it in, like, the single digits if I'm assigning a probability to it. But there is a chance that he very well could die in the Cook County Jail. That is a possibility. That is a, a horrendous indictment of our, our penal system in this country. I And, like... It's a good opportunity to talk about that issue. I'm sorry that, like, once again, I watched these things with you guys. That would have been a good opportunity for me to talk about that issue. But no, they're just, they're going to talk about how horrible of a person Jesse Smollett is. And he probably, maybe he is. Maybe he's delusional. Maybe he needs help. I don't fucking know. Nothing makes sense to me about this sure that was the best performance of his life because that's what that was that was nothing other than a performance i mean that was a script that he had been going through in his head that he just rolled out he was ready to roll and out. dave rubin and knows out. about performances he did do it there's no shadow of a doubt he no. did do it he faked a hate crime and and in many ways even though you know it's 150 okay. days in jail okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i said earlier that like i i they reserve a shadow of a doubt Dave Rubin has come in and corrected it, corrected me. There is no shadow of a doubt involved. He did it 100%. So my apologies. I'm wrong. Dave Rubin knows. It is but like that seems like, okay, we can argue it's too little, too much, whatever. If you think of the cultural damage that this guy did to this nation, think of all of the politicians. We played the, or we showed the clip this morning on my show, uh, Kamala Harris's tweet oh, when it of happened she did. about, you know, it's proof of systemic racism and AOC. Wait, I have it here. I'll, let me and, read oh, it so people know right. what you're saying. Yeah, let's jump to that. You want to jump to that? January 2019. Mean, at Jesse Smollett is one of the kindest, most gentle human beings I know. I'm praying for his quick recovery. This was an attempted modern day lynching. No one should have to fear for their life because of their sexuality or color of their skin. We must confront this hate. Can't wait until she walks that back and sets the record. Megyn Kelly read that with hate and disdain in her a bogus voice. bogus allegation that was obviously problematic from the start. But no, she, she won't be doing that. No, of course. And, and by the way, AOC won't, Pelosi won't, the rest of them. They use it when they think it's valuable to them. And then when it always gets debunked as a hoax, which it always does, then, then they go silent because the media. It always gets debunked. So, you know, it biggest, always so, gets know. debunked as a as as a hoax. Hate crimes have been at like an all time high in, in the last like fucking five years. We've seen multiple high profile. A lot of them from right wing. The fucking the dude that shot up Denver. There was a. a 
It always, always turned out to be a fucking hoax. How dare Dave Rubin? Always a hoax. God damn. America for weeks when it looked like a lynching. Uh, but now you think, that, and I get there's other things going on in the world, this war, whatever. Uh, but it, of course, this is going to fly under the radar. Uh, but to your bigger point at the beginning there about, um, you know, I'm not suicidal. Like, who does he think he is? I'm That's all I saw on my social media when it happened. Horrific. I wouldn't Fly want under the radar. Mother, but all the right wingers were sure talking about he's it. Telling us he's going to kill himself because oh, he now no. wants he wants to be the ultimate martyr now. No, he, it's not. You said it. I mean, whoa, what a take from Dave Rubin. If you guys didn't hear that because I was talking over it. Dave Rubin thinks that Jesse Smollett is saying that he's not suicidal because he is planning on committing suicide while he's in jail because he wants the fame and infamy that would come with it. That is a wild, wild fucking take. Never even, never even put that one together in my head. That would have never crossed my mind. Congrat maybe, maybe Dave Rubin does have some high level ideas. I would have never in a million years come up with that. My mind just wouldn't have went there. Like I've, I've got statistics about the mysterious deaths in the Cook County Jail. I mean, oh Epstein, God, there were reasons that, that people might want Epstein dead, right? Like there was evidence that there were people that he knew and things that he knew and probably other oh they're saying he's not important he enough if he had ever gotten out for anybody to want to kill him in jail no not that not that he would be hated enough no. so he's he's telling you this is the ultimate part i can play to instigate the further oh, racial war wrong. that i brought to america look the judge said to him yesterday and listen this is somebody who sat there the whole trial looked at him uh J judge james lynn spoke for nearly over more than 30 minutes before announcing that sentence and said you jesse smollett you wrote the script you picked the actors for the hoax your premeditation for this entire thing was an aggravating factor in the case that's why you're getting jail time and said and i quote there's a side of you that has this arrogance and selfishness and narcissism that's just disgraceful you're not a victim of a racial hate crime you're not a victim of a homophobic hate crime you are just a charlatan pretending to be a victim of a hate crime and that is shameful and I agree with that too, right? The brother of Jesse Smollett, Jojo, came out and said, um, he spoke about his arrogance. He doesn't know the struggles my brother's encountering. We don't care. I, I couldn't care less what struggles he's encountering. You're going to prison because you did lie. You broke the law. You actually involved a lot of the Chicago PD's time, took up a lot of their time when they could have been, been solving murders and real crimes out on the streets of Chicago. That's what that black chief of police was saying. It is, it is so weird, the emphasis. Like, you, you, when she got animated, the topics that, like, you guys see the topics that animate me. You see, like, I get upset at, like, systems of injustice. Like, she, like, she hates Jesse Smollett. Chicago PD isn't solving shit. They are a very corrupt police department. In his very fiery speech. They investigated themselves and, and cleared themselves, though. And so I don't feel sorry know for it. him at all. You know, Megan, we've all done things that we're not proud of in life. We've all made mistakes. We've all acted dishonestly. We, we've all done things, right? And it's your job as a human to try to do those things less and, and live the best, honest, forthright life that you can. But I'm obviously not sitting here as a perfect human. I know you aren't either. Everyone does these things now. But what you get within that. I don't know. Megan looks like she's like, don't say I'm not perfect. Where you can set some of the stuff right. And he could have had one of those moments yesterday. You know, hmm. it's not the worst thing in the world, 150 days in jail. Okay. Especially after knowing what he did. And the I'd like to see Dave him. Rubin do it. I'd like to see Dave Rubin do it. Hearing that verdict. Instead of doing what he did, which is exacerbate the situation, make it about him. Do now a stream more, like fucking like do even worse things in jail. He could have had a moment and said, make it know, a thing, uh, Dave, knowing that the whole world's looking I'd at watch. And said, you know, I got caught up in something. We live in this oddly racialized society and I've experienced racism in my life. And I did something that I should not have done. I did something that was illegal and immoral that mixed up so many people. 
that led to some of the riots and all of these things. My intentions were good. I was trying to shine light. Led to riots? What? Or whatever it is that he believes the problem was that would have led him to doing this. Uh, someone who I think is a millionaire who has all the benefits in the world, right? Um, yeah. He could have had a moment where he would have done that and then sort of set back some of the craziness that we're always fighting. But instead, he decided to set that craziness forward. And that's where we are. And then uh, adding insult to injury, Kim Fox, the so-called DA out there, the Cook County prosecutor, who's just been a nightmare from the start. She's another George Soros backed DA who doesn't want to prosecute crime. Oh, my God. His. The only reason he was tried and convicted in a court is because they appointed a special prosecutor because they recognized how outraged the cop community was and the community writ large when it turned out this was an obvious hoax. And Kim Fox doesn't want to prosecute anybody. So she got Bigfooted by Dan Webb. That is, that is Bigfoot, a um, anti-Semitic Rock, conspiracy, Lord, by the way, to friend, throw out Mama Soros for everything. Ago, you can get you a Soros um, pay me to so say anyway, it. She comes out. She has to offer from a the freak store to the Chicago Sun Times, and she says. On Thursday, the damaging, costly, and disingenuous criminal prosecution of Jussie Smollett came to an end. As the Cook County State's Attorney, it pains me deeply to say that in this case, our justice system failed. Given the reputational price, I mean, I think I think the prosecution did cost about what like the fact that he'd never been they wasted, you know, investigating the crime to begin with. Conviction further. That should have been the end of the story. Then she goes on to say, um, "Okay." uh, My administration's vacated over 177 wrongful convictions, 87 of those in the last uh, three years. Rather than working collaboratively to stem the rising crime or free the wrongly convicted, a small group of people hijacked the judicial system here to enact what is best described as mob justice. And here's the here it is. Sadly, these tactics have become common. Black women elected prosecutors. I mean, they wanted to make an example out of him. I don't. I don't know that it wasn't just a fucking so slap him with a fine and be done her, with it. Dave. Community it's service kind of race, deal. And it's about her. Go visit some kids in hospitals because of her race, not because she's a DA who won't prosecute crime. Megan, remember in the previous sent- uh, segment when I said that we have to give the devil his due and you have to be impressed by the damage that these people have created. The, the wokesters have created a cult-like belief that victimhood is everything. So not only is Jesse Smollett a victim of his own doing, but still pretending to be. That's the thing that trips me out is they talk about the victimhood of the left, but all they ever do is play victim. The woke mob came for me. I got made fun of on Twitter. Like, it's the weirdest fucking thing. It Well, I mean, it depends on, like, he is getting more time than, than some of the insurrectionists. Some of them, though, have gotten some stiff sentences. Like, the, the QAnon shaman got four years. I, I know that because I had to look it up today. The, the, the person who instigated the fire at the Minneapolis Police Department got 41 months. QAnon Shaman got four years. Because for some reason, a right winger was comparing the two. There are insurrectionists that are getting off with like just probation and shit. And Jesse Smollett has got to go do fucking 150. They're like, seriously. The QAnon shaman. Yeah, they made example out of the out of the QAnon shaman too. He might have a case for uh, getting an appeal, ad representation or some shit. Fuck Dave Rubin. I hate Dave Rubin. Be a victim now. Uh, but now you've got the prosecutor, uh, the, you know, pretending that she's the victim. Everyone yes. pretends that they're the victim because they put that at the height of the hierarchy of what's important. And if you can somehow perceive yourself to be a victim, then you are a victim. But, you know, these Soros backed DAs that are all over the place. This is not a conspiracy, by the way. I'm sure media. I'm a victim of Soros backed DAs. They, they want to get us on every little thing. Don't that play said. victim. It is not a conspiracy theory. We know that George Soros puts tons of money oh, yeah. towards these crazy left wing DAs who end up in San Francisco 
Uh, George Gascon in San Francisco, what did he do? He destroyed San Francisco. And then what happens in the world of left-wing California politics? You become the DA of L.A. and then you destroy Mm -hmm. L.A. And now San Francisco's got this guy, Chester Boudin, who's even worse than him. And then it happens in Chicago and Seattle and all these other places. They make everything worse. And then you're not going to believe who has to come in and fix these cities. It's those scary mean conservatives sort of like not not true back in the late cities that have elected progressives have actually seen drops and cried the city and i remember even though i grew up in long island i remember going to visit my grandparents who lived in new york city and it was disgusting and i literally remember once dude was carrying a spear he was indeed carrying a spear he was not on ours because she didn't want me to see all the all the The og weapon of choice Um, And then who had to fix it? This guy came in named Rudy Giuliani and they said he was mean and he hated black people and all the stuff. And then what did he do? He gave New York City basically a 25 year incredible run that then Bloomberg pretty much worked with and continued. And then what happened? It came crashing down by Bill de Blasio, another lefty, I I would argue, socialist. Everything is the fault of Democrats. Everything good that's ever happened is the result of Republicans. Dave Rubin's take.